coming up on Just Elders Podcast. Thank you for everybody that tuned in to the last week's episode. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have came back this week. <laughs> you know, you never know. <laughs> first seven Not minutes. For the first seven minutes, we got to be clean because okay. YouTube got a new policy. I say. Yeah, yeah. We trying, we, trying to, we, trying to, we trying to monetize. Trying to monetize. I just monetize. came from church, man, so I'm with it. I might have been dropped the bomb. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is F. Keith Slaughter in here, man. We got to get you a little bomb. You don't know what the is <laughs> going on. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now. All right. Now. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, and 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 then I they and they admitted. Passion. Now, you know did you get it? They, Justin Bieber got the side of his face all messed up. That, oh, come on, <laughs> that's the face of somebody they got it. It was like you can't come unless you got a, a a vaccine, and I need this for my job. But I ain't going cause I'm free. <clears throat> ready, born ready. It's Wednesday. Time for your favorite podcast, the favorite podcast. Just vibe with me for a minute. E. I got a fun guest in the building today. Ah, uh, shucks. Hey, man. Yeah. So they're gonna be a great episode. If you don't know, now you know. Hey, you know, they, my guest today introduced me to the education of the funk. We're going to talk about that in a second. <laughs> you feel me? We're going to do a gel like this. What's up, family? It's your boy Eldridge. You are tuning into the Just Elders podcast, the greatest podcast to ever hit the airways. I'm super excited because we're about to record the greatest episode we have ever recorded. I say it every time, and I mean it every single time. Round of applause, round of applause. Thank you for everybody that tuned in to the last week's episode. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have came back this week. <laughs> you know, you never know. You never wow. know if you're just doing this to do it. When I first started, I thought my mama the only person was listening. It mm -hmm. wasn't until like random people start coming up like, man, I, I listen to your stuff all the time. I'm like, well, damn, buy a t-shirt or something. Well, like, something. Leave a comment. Sunshine. Buy with your boy. Like, so. let me know. Shout out to all the Patreon subscribers, though. No, we rock with them. Yeah, y'all yeah, definitely let us know every month on the first. I say. Um, but now, nah, like, yeah, like, it's that, it's now we're at that point where I know people are listening. And now, because in the beginning, did through the crates, it should be a lot more salacious. Mm. I was saying a whole. It's so much fucked up shit hidden in the episodes from one. <laughs> hey man, YouTube algorithm, YouTube oh yeah, algorithm. My bad, my bad, my bad. Bleep, it's so much that. flunked up stuff. At least for the first yeah. seven minutes. Give a me need, seven minutes. A nigga can't say fucked up. <laughs> first seven Not minutes. For the first seven minutes, we gotta be clean because okay. YouTube got a new policy. I say. Yeah, yeah. We trying to, we trying to, we trying to, we trying to monetize. Trying to monetize. I just monetize. came from church, man, so I'm with it. Yeah. So, so for yeah. the first, I didn't cuss but twice at church today, so that's good. You get I'm better. doing good. Ain't <laughs> All the two times. Man, let me just get into this. Hey, uh, you heard this brother on the podcast before. He is not a stranger. He is definitely a friend. He is a teacher. He's a mentor. He's a big brother of mine. Y'all give it up for the great Reverend Dr. F. Keith Slaughter. I say. <laughs> That's right. Come on, I'm saying, come on with it. Yeah. I know, like, like, they, they some real applause. I mean, man, and, and that ain't long enough. Hell. Yeah. Let it, I might have dropped the bomb. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bomb. This is F. Keith Slaughter in here, man. I think we got to get you a little bomb. You don't know what the hell is going on. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Now. Right. now, okay. Appreciate it. <laughs> hey, look, we got some conservative. Yeah, we have some conservative listeners because they be like, oh, y'all was too loud. Yeah, last I, time. I forgot man. who I got with me. Yeah. <laughs> Namesake, we ain't playing. You already know. Funk that. Yeah, already. Ain't we funking now? There are many people in life who inspire me for different reasons mm. and different aspects of their life. One of the people who inspire me, and I've never met them before, is Keith. <laughs> <laughs> if you know Keith, you know Keith. If you don't know I Keith, I don't know what side of the internet you're on. But I <laughs> that's all I got. Hey, that's new, new, drop, drop, man. new drop. Drop. 
You know what I'm saying? Hey, you don't know Keith, man. What, <laughs> what side what of the like, internet? What in the are? world have you been doing <laughs> with your pitiful life? <laughs> and that's a lot of us up, man. No, Keith, Brother. if you don't know Keith, I don't know what side of the internet you're on. I just watched a video. <laughs> See, this ain't going to be fun. This is not fun. <laughs> this, is, be real this, fun. Is, this is not going to be fun because I'm going to have too much fun. And when I have too much fun, nobody else gets a chance to have well, look, fun. You know how you were saying people listen to the show? So somebody sent that to me because they were like, they were talking about Keith. Now, shout out to Keith Lee. They're actually talking about Keith Lee. I follow him on TikTok. Okay. The boy done came up. Who is Keith Lee? Um, talking so about Keith Lee? Not, not Keith Lee, Keith Lee. No, not, not, not. There's he's, another Keith yeah, Lee. a young Keith Lee. Young okay, Keith Lee. But yeah. he, he'll eat somebody's food and the restaurant will like sell out. In the next hour, like that's how big he's got. Huh. So somebody sent me his. He uh, a bit boy? No, no, he's man, skinny boy, man, boy by small as cow. Man, <laughs> can I just talk about how I love the concept of just content? Yeah. How people are just getting like it's just one couple. Mm. I literally all, they do the same thing on every post. The woman has a picture of her feet walking. And then she turns around and her, her she's like standing right between her dude. So you see her feet and his feet, and mm-hmm. they always coordinate their shoes. That's their content. Yeah. It's just showing off their outfit. Mm-hmm. And all they do is she just walk and turn around and all you see is feet. I'm like, right, it's a content, this couple, you never see the dude face, and the girls just always come in, always asking for stuff like, Oh, you you eating your own food? Nah, let me feed you. You trying to replace me? Oh, you trying to put your own shoes on? Yeah. Let me put your shoes on for you. You trying to replace me? It's, and it's interesting. The same. Yeah, the content I, I, is crazy. Yeah, I know, uh, and I know why uh, the white folks in the government <laughs> think that TikTok <laughs> is the devil. Because <laughs> <laughs> TikTok is the devil. That's why. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, people just be people famous. be wilding out, man. But uh, but you know what? I think folks ought to have space to wild out. And, and I and I mm-hmm. love all the mediums of platform. Like if you want to be this type of content creator, you got TikTok. That mm-hmm. type you got uh Instagram, that type you got uh fan base. I mean, and then the other type Only you got OnlyFans. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? OnlyFans, man. I I you know, I ain't never been on it, but I heard about it. I'm an OnlyFans <laughs> connoisseur. Ask me any co- questions you want. Uh well, you know what? Can I look at yours? Cause my wife, I can't be looking at it because she look know what I be seeing. So I need to see you so I can watch. <laughs> That because I can't get away with doing OnlyFans. Like I didn't realize how much of an OnlyFans connoisseur I was until I started talking to people that are not. Because <laughs> they were like, they were like, bro, okay, bro, you be kind of looking at this stuff. So, all right, man. Out. Guess what, man? I've, I've been sick. I've been I've been mourning for a couple of months now. Man, they knocked my Tumblr page off, man. Now Tumblr, to all they those out there, the OGs, they, <laughs> to they, the OGs, they killed my Tumblr page. Now, y'all know about now Tumblr. yeah, it was. Yes, it was. Some yeah, stuff. it was. Yeah. But they didn't even tell me, like, dude, if you don't chill, we gonna knock you off. They didn't tell me that. I just told in one day, and my Tumblr was gone. I was like, loud. You talking about content player? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Country cut. gone. They just, hey, I can't get that back. I thought that was my place where I could hide my content. Yeah, to, uh, Reddit, you know. Reddit, Reddit, yeah, Reddit, Reddit is the new Tumblr. Reddit, oh, it is. Yeah, okay, Reddit. so I'm gonna have to yeah. check into that. If I, open, I if I open this Reddit right now, you crazy. <laughs> but, but honestly, I mean, Twitter is a very dark place. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, what is that that I do on Twitter? That's the uh. Incognito search. <laughs> <laughs> that shit don't work. <laughs> like still well, don't. they can't. You know, I mean, I'm just trying, man. Man, I'm a minister, brother. Hey, but- <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got to do. I got to do incognito hey, search, look, man. That's what me. And my barber was talking about this morning. I was like, he was like, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, not be plugged in. I said, bro, if you got an iPhone and you on any social media, you're plugged in, bro. Yeah, like, like they gonna find you. Cause yeah, I, I just seen this. Uh, Post this unless you one, move to the woods. This one was like, you know, uh, everybody want to know, think we're crazy because we moved off the grid. We just bought uh, mm. thirty acres in the middle of nowhere. But then you looked in the back of the setup. She got an iPhone. They got like a little Wi-Fi antenna. I'm like, like man, y'all ain't, ain't off, the off the grid. Man, off the grid, you off that thing. Yeah, you hey off man, the grid. I, I got, I know a brother live less than a mile from here off the grid, homie. I can believe it. Live less than a mile from where we are, right? A mile, maybe two miles. He got running on, on, on Metro. No, he ain't got none of that. 
I ain't studying it. Yeah. Don't fine. even give a damn about it. He'll find one. He off the grid for he got a cell phone. Is he squatting or he own it? No, it's a, a a free land situation, you know, going on. He like oh, he, he got the papers on the <laughs> <laughs> He got a paper He got a paper He a sovereign <laughs> citizen. Sovereign <laughs> citizen. Hey, look. But look, Ooh, this that, nigga, hey. no, but he like he lived like in the woods, like behind the store, right? And he take care of you know around the store and everything. And he got his, I, I guess you would call it a hut. Oh no, he's still on the grid because that store camera picking him up. No, it ain't. Head. No, it ain't. Uh uh-uh. uh. Because he got, the, it's the woods. I'm talking about even in the winter, you can't see where he at, man. <laughs> hey, look, when the leaves you know fall off the trees, you can't see nah, where he at. No, he off the grid. Because that brother didn't go to the warming station look, in the winter. No, he ain't. He, he, oh, yeah. Dude, he'll no make a fire, man. He in those same woods where Paperboy got lost. <laughs> oh, you talking about on, a, <laughs> on Atlanta? Oh, shit. He in those oh, same shit. woods. And then nigga fell down that damn then, track, then he was like, No, no, not, not oh, that yeah, one. Oh, I'm talking about the episode where the boy tried to jump him. Oh, <laughs> shit, yes. And that nigga yes. like, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> he yeah, got yeah, yeah. Matter of <laughs> fact, the dude that was chasing the paper boy might be his boy. <laughs> like, <laughs> damn, 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 damn. <laughs> Y'all don't know nothing about that. <laughs> oh, my God. Nah, man, before your time. I, 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 I expired yeah, that. The, the only group. person they got. Dare, 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 with your boy over here in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Oh, God. Shout out to Cole. That's funny. Deliverance. If y'all don't know deliverance, that's old school. Uh, that, that's a, that, It's a co- culturally iconic uh, movie about- with George so, Clooney? No, nah, oh, man. This is for George Clooney. George Clooney might even been born when Deliverance came out. Uh, uh, what's that? Uh, I can't remember that white man name. That uh, he got a uh, kind of fat N- Ned Beatty, mm. Ned Beatty, and the man, and and they go out up and they in Tennessee or uh, somewhere up in the hills, and they get they supposed to be going camping or whatever, and uh, <laughs> they get up there and them hillbillies get them and, and bend him over a log and tell him squeal like a pig. <laughs> Oh, hell no. I don't know nothing about that. So. <laughs> I thought y'all got I, to get hit, man. You were, I thought you squeal like a pig. <laughs> I thought you were talking about George Clooney, no sir, old brother, our how I, no the, sir, deliverance. Okay. Y'all, I mean, once look at it. Oh, you talking about uh, Lou Voigt? Just take uh, him right off. Take him right off. <laughs> What's this all about? Don't say anything. Just do it. Squeal like a pig. Drop him, boy. <laughs> what the hell? Nineteen seventy-two. Nineteen. Hey man, look. Sharp, a bit of cheap, Cody man. looking like uh, I don't uh, know about this like, shit. It's, like, it's kind of like soft gay porn, but. <laughs> <laughs> Now you know what, Mr. E. Mr. E, yeah. you know you shouldn't have brought me into this, man. You you know better than no, this. I did man. For a and you know I do this. I did for a reason. You know I this is like when, feel like really good. When you, know? you need to get in front of the mic. You called me. I've been off the mic and I need to get it back on. You're right. You called me. Yeah. I did call you. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. You ain't lying. And when you call, I call. <clears throat> well, I appreciate that, man. I'm, you know, I'm old and uh and, you know, but what I was, my thing was, I need to be in the mix because I want my church to continually grow and develop, and it can't happen uh, unless me, as its leader, is out there right. bringing attention to the fact that we exist. Right? Because right? uh, we living in a in a time and in a space where, you know, the decline of the church is real. And uh, many of the churches that closed uh, for the pandemic. And so I want to remain relevant um, as a as a servant of, of, of people. Right. Because for me, it don't make no sense to be doing it. Don't nobody want to hear what I got to say. Now, now this decline you're talking about, was. Mm-hmm. do you think this is just because of COVID or is it other factors? No, too? it's other factors. Uh-huh. I, you know, of course, we... We are we live in what's what what scholars call post modernity, mm. right? 
we on the other side it's, it's of the time of when uh, people had respect for authority. Mm. People have discovered that authority is bullshit. Well, you ain't gonna get in trouble immediately. Right. It, well, people have discovered bullshit. people have discovered that people who right are in authority are are have not necessarily earned that space, mm -hmm. right? And you have not earned the right for me to listen, hear, and believe what you say just because you say it. Right. That that day gone, you know. We ain't doing that at church. We ain't doing that at work. We ain't doing that nowhere. Right. You barely doing know? that at home. You know. It, so as we as we adopt and uh, and adjust to moving into uh, an, another historical epoch, another historical era, because we're in the coronavirus era. They got the it's the what is the the uh, Omicron a uh, BBK. Uh, it's still around. No, it's a new one. Not Omicron, Omicron <clears throat> BB. Yeah, it's a it's a new one that just came out. Yeah. One, this little flu slash thing that people going around getting. Yeah, it's that's like, it's, it's, it's a, a, I, I just heard of this food poison, man. No, this this is uh, I mean, they man, they <laughs> Keith de Keith is the biggest. They COVID deployed skeptic. this. Keith is what they call. He's a COVID skeptic. Yes, and mm -hmm. he's a uh, he's a uh, uh, you know how they be like election denier, right? <laughs> <laughs> he's a COVID <laughs> denier. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's uh, what Keith is. No, no, no. I I know it's real, but to your point, I know uh, the authority of it isn't real. Like, I know y'all said these shots were supposed to do something. After and they didn't. Like, yeah, and, and, and then I they, and they admitted. Now, you know Did you saying? get it? They, Justin Bieber got the side of his face all messed up. That, like, come on. <laughs> that's the face of somebody that got it. No, it ain't, bro. That's the face hey, don't of you somebody. Have, hold on. Don't that, you hear uh, me ask a question? And they just look uh, at you like... Come that, on, bro. That's the face that of somebody who can't believe that you asked me that, but you busting me out at the same damn time. Exactly. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You busting me out at the same time. We ain't live. We ain't live. It's okay. Because I identify my shit is, is Yeah, this podcast it ain't radio. I man, ain't, ain't nobody. <laughs> I, I, you know, ain't nobody in my family got that shit, man. Well, I know Miley ain't got it. We don't. We I know do, he we do not. We do not get down like that. If the white folks say, and, and the Negroes that love white folks say we got to have it, especially if the Negroes that love white folks say we got to have it. Oh, I know that that's mean. the shit that we don't need. <laughs> All my children, my family, we know that's the shit we don't need. If niggas that love crackers say we got to have it. <laughs> hey, Bullshit look, ain't nothing. Hey, look, I'm not going to say what race <laughs> uh, doctor. I, I mean, what hospital? you know, <laughs> we know I can't say that. Can't. I'm Hello. sorry. I, I am look, sorry. Look, I don't look, mean no look, harm. I oppose with my enemy support and I support with my enemy, enemy. oppose. And it, it is what it I is. say. Historically yeah. proven. It is what it is. You'll win and, like that. And, You'll and, lose and, doing it the other way. And the thing is, you know, nobody want to have a real conversation, right? Nobody want to have a real conversation that, you know what? All right, we fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it wasn't what we said it was, or maybe it wasn't going to do. And nobody going to have a real conversation. Authority does not do that, right? And, and, and that's why, as, as a man of authority, I have done everything that I could to undermine the mystique behind it, right? right. I, I mean, the authority of age, the authority of uh, position, all of that. I try to destroy it, and I have tried to destroy it because it's bullshit. And I, I, I have, I have experienced elevation. I have experienced decline. The falls, yeah. Yeah, and it's okay. The fall don't hurt as bad as you think it do. Mm. It, it ain't gonna kill you, right? You know what I mean? And the yeah. bad saying ain't either. Cause when I got the Moderna, <laughs> it didn't kill me. I just, um, I. Mm -hmm. They forced my hand. I wanted to go to Africa. Yeah. <laughs> and I had to get out of the country. Yeah, I understand, man. And that's, you know, I had a conference. Now, and I was mentally fucked up because I was like, man, what, did I always twitch like this? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, and the question, and, and the answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> 
Motherfucker, you dying. <laughs> That's that, that's that death twitch, nigga. Nah, but see, you know, I told you, I identify as vaccinated. So I don't think you have to. You yeah, know what I'm me too. Because that's what I, uh, somebody asked me the other day. They say, You boosted? I said, Hell yeah. Boosted all. I'm boosted all the way up. For how how many you got, the, you got the latest boost? Man, I'm boosted. How as they got it? See, look, I'm, I'm see, no. I would, I would, see, I would. People, like, I'm with people like y'all. People like, like y'all. Look, 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 look. People like y'all is why I, I don't trust people during the zombie apocalypse. So y'all need to type to get bit and be like, Nah, I'm straight. Nah, I'm nah, straight. nah, nah, nah. If I get bit, I'm like, bro, cut my arm off. Nah, I'm, I'm hit you quick. I'm like, bro, cut this thing off. Come on now, come on now. Hey man, I'm not fighting no zombies. I'm rolling. I know when the when the zombies come, man. I'm getting in my truck. I am armed, right? I'm shooting zombies. I'm shooting white folks and zombies. <laughs> All right? Besides, besides, besides. I'm that shooting is, white folks and besides, zombies. Besides. All of them. So that's how I know you don't watch Walking Dead. That's how I know you don't watch. Because you're going to fuck around and shoot Daryl and be fucked up. See, I need Daryl on my team. I ain't going to. Nah, gonna, hey, they got a new look, one coming out. Daryl, uh, you know, look, Daryl, nothing but love. But your ass got to die <laughs> in the zombie apocalypse. You got to fucking die. No, uh, they have a new one, HBO coming. Uh, Last of Us. That shit look better than Walking Dead. Like, really, it's, I mean, you know, hey, the Walking Dead. That's was, what they setting us up for. You do know this. Oh yeah, right? they, they, you do know. I'm prepared movies. for it. All these movies. Yeah, yeah, cause you got Moderna. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nigga, <laughs> be the first one to change. He, and look, and I know he gonna come over my house, and and, and I'm gonna be like, look, bro, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to shoot you, right? I'm gonna have to shoot you, and but I, but but know that I love you. I'm I love the non-zombie you, but this this. Like, representation of you. <laughs> this new you? I don't know this new you. I don't know this new you. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. You want some other shit. I ain't gonna lie. I say that too, right? But I do understand the governor. So I don't know. I'm, I'm giving her a whole bunch of Walking Dead references because I do this show. Uh, so the governor was this leader and he uh, built the whole, like, he literally took a town, built the wall. Yeah, compound. He fortified <laughs> yeah. it for the people. Mm. Like, he fortified this shit for the people. But he had one fucked up thing. He was feeding motherfuckers he didn't like to his daughter that turned, but he couldn't keep it in his heart to kill her. Mm. Like, so he kept her in his room. And I feel like that's how I would have to do Keith. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Keith, Keith gonna be in Studio B. <laughs> And I'm not letting y'all kill this nigga. <laughs> Put the camera on me, Cody. I'm in the mouth. If you have me on the show, I'm coming in. The first thing I'm going to do is blast Keith's ass. <laughs> nah, I'm, in, I'm in the room. Just keep the door closed. I'm shooting through the door, man. You can't live. I'm sorry. Like, man, gonna be like, man, man how we going to do the show? <laughs> man, man. Oh, man. Like, I ain't going to lie, like, but I do think about that as as we're moving into this world of like, see, I be watching too. My imagination is too crazy, y'all. It's the reason why I don't do drugs. It's the reason why I don't drink. I'm an extremist, and I have a really big. And la, la, listen, listen to me. He be bragging, man. No, I know. no, I'm not bragging. Exactly. Somebody bring me a drink. Uh, why this Negro talking about? He no, nah, you can bring him a drink. <laughs> let, let me tell you why I don't drink. Because I'm an extremist. If I drink, okay, I'm gonna want to drink better than all y'all. Not one. I'm gonna drink better than all you. Like, yeah. like I, I know I have. I a, see. Yes, and I can tell you, extremists, because you know your line on your beer is perfect. It's like <laughs> he was like, "This is not perfect." No, that, Negro, whoever lined your beard up. Shout out to Frank, man. Hey, My black Frank, man, like, man, you. I ain't like. That's a compliment, boy. You, you, you're tight. Appreciate nah, it. No, <laughs> when, when, when more people come visit the studio. Uh, They're going to see the extreme elders. Now, now, all right, prime example. They'll mm. tell you, my team, we don't have to order shit. Like, when we be ordering shit, like, fuck that. I, I go on set. Matter of fact, I, was, I just got a shot interview for an interview um, for a documentary Shout about out. Kevin Samuels. Okay. And they they wanted to do That's it in cool. the studio. That's cool. They wanted to do it in the studio. Because they need to be talked about. Come on, brother. And, bring it on to me. And I've been impressed. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Ashe. <laughs> Look, make <Toast>. sure you... <laughs> So <laughs> they they got the I I'm impressed with my setup. I'm proud of it. Mm -hmm. 
But when Boy, y'all got some good Kool Aid too. Mm. What's just that uh, Hawaiian gold? <laughs> That's what that is. <laughs> I see these cameras. They got. I'm. I want to throw all this shit away. I'm no longer impressed with my shit no more. Like, that's my camera. Oh, close my computer. You uh, uh I mean, this is a dope man. Set. Yeah, I think it's a great set. But I'm this telling is you, crazy, I'm, just, I'm telling bro. you how my. So you saw we recorded the first time. You, yeah, come on, that's right. what I'm saying, man. But I'm telling bro, you, this ain't even. I'm, this is a whole nother different stratosphere. I'm just telling actually. you. I'm just telling you how I'm an extremist. Drinks. Uh -huh. and I have a addictive personality, and I obsess so like it's just certain so shit. certain things you don't fool with so you because, don't get tech because you know you can't win I, bro, it's, it's, just like, it's, it's just like smoking rocks like you know you know you can't win that that's an L you you gonna take an L now you mm -hmm. might feel alright for a while but ultimately that's an it's L and then, and then the other thing too Slaughter <laughs> what? like if I'm trying to do something say if I'm like yo I wanna uh, journal prime example I wanna journal every day Mm -hmm. I might go on a good 10, 12 day streak and mm -hmm. I miss a day. Mm -hmm. But instead of just jumping right back on the train and doing it again, I would literally go about 10 days without doing it. You know what I'm you, saying? You know what I want to do, man. I mean, and, and I, I have never approached you, you know, as a therapist. I've always f dealt with you as a friend, right? Uh, uh, but I would invite you to look at giving yourself a break i think i think you're hard on yourself and i don't i think i'm very lax on myself you think you lax on yourself yeah yeah because i don't care about none of this well okay we'll in a sense in. of like i sleep well, hell, we'll, well have a drink with me let's go outside and smoke yeah nah because <laughs> again if that's the deal <laughs> shit, i mean i mean so, you you, you so, got me confused well like here's so I'm not hard on myself, but I, I'm also, I'm a control freak too. Like I kind of want to be. Now I can see that because any one of my partners who don't indulge, it's because the time that they did, they felt like I couldn't do nothing. I asked I was, the Uber driver, can I drive? Oh, you know, like, a, I'm a control, control freak is somebody who must have control. However, if you can't trust yourself, mm. To have fun, what's the damn point? So, so this is great, but what's your definition of fun? See, for me, letting uh, go, letting for loose. For me, fun, I have natural fun. I would <laughs> I, <laughs> see. I have fun. See, here's this. Here's the other thing. So, look, mm. I love where this conversation is going. Let's go. I always have fun. So, I remember. Like, let's go back to the origins of when weed was introduced to me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Oh, or when weed was introduced to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, uh, Not when you were introduced to weed. Mm. See, did you hear how he said that? When weed was introduced to me. Yeah, what's the difference? Somebody ain't doing oh, it's a hell of, right. it's, a, it's a hell of a lot of difference right, so between what, when weed was introduced to me and when I was introduced to weed. What's the difference? When weed was introduced to me, it means that weed was unsuccessful. What? When I was introduced to weed... Nigga, I've been smoking ever since. <laughs> that's the difference. That's the difference. <laughs> See, and and that's a big difference because yeah. when it was introduced to me, mm. it wasn't successful because one, the people around me wanted it too bad. It was shout out, mm. shout out to my boy Shy. You know what I'm saying? Because the reality is, no one, no one, besides these brothers and sisters in this room. Believe that you don't smoke. Nobody else. No. Nobody <laughs> else. You got high eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, you know I didn't want to get that. So that was a part of it. I, I knew I was going to get caught. Yeah. Exactly. I, okay. remember, yeah. I, remember I knew I first met Eldridge. I was just like, shit, after the meeting. But you know what I do, though, <laughs> Eldridge? It's because, and you know, perhaps this is divulging a bit much, but what, what the hell? You're here. I'm, uh, you know, only a couple of hundred thousand people will see this. Uh, uh, I love you. Medicated. I'm, I'm gonna take that out, but I love you though. Yeah, but uh, I mean, you, I mean, bro, you know what? Uh, where was I? I don't know who was I talking to. Uh, and it was been in the last couple of days. Man, I'm, man, I'm free, man. I, I feel like, man, I feel like I'm as free 
ass as a white dude. Damn. I feel like I feel damn. like damn that freak man. I mean, man, I feel like I, I, I have that. the right to be armed. Mm -hmm. I feel like I got the right to be high. Yeah, I feel like I got the right. I ain't doing nothing wrong. Right. I, this is my right as a human, as a citizen of the world. I have the right to travel. I have the right to refuse the vaccine. I, that's my right as a human. You know what I'm saying? Hell, I went to, to England uh, back in the summer. England said, you ain't got to have no vaccine. I was like, cool, let's go. But it's a conference I'm supposed, was supposed to go to next week up in Indiana. They was like, you can't come unless you got a, a, a vaccine. And I need this for my job. But I ain't going because I'm free. Mm -hmm. I'm free. And I have paid every price for being free. And so I'm satisfied with it. And the things that I that I miss because I won't go along with what people say I ought to do. Right. I ain't. Look, man, let me say this. I'm a, I want to go on and get this out of the way. Get out of the way. This is fun. Buddy. I have people, man. I, I'm, I mean, I ain't going to lie. There is not a week. There's, there has never been a week that has passed that somebody didn't come up to me and say, oh, how I miss you being on the radio. Mm. I'm the only Negro that don't miss it. I, didn't, I never enjoyed getting up at five in the morning, ever. There was not one day that I enjoyed that. And it has to do with quality of life, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? I want to be, I, I like to feel just like I feel now. I get up, man, around about 8.30. And I get up at 8.30 because yoga started at 9. <laughs> and I got to get to the to my place of peace. Right. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> the rest of my life, man, well, you know, my children have graduated. I got one I got to get out of school, out of, out of college. Man, I feel good, bro. Don't knock that Kool Aid over. You doing this whole but... No, man. Uh -uh. I, I feel sure. good. I feel good. Stop being controlling. All right. <laughs> 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 hell, you wanted to control it so bad, you got black furniture, so it don't make no difference. Hell, I can throw this shit all over the place. <laughs> don't do that. Nobody would know. <laughs> don't, don't do Eldridge, that. No don't. one would know. <laughs> But slow, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like, like, all right, so we didn't lick two different things. I've tried drink. I just don't like how it tastes. And it's that simple. Okay. Like, if I didn't like how pussy tastes, I would have never ate it again. Right. I'm literally that type of person. Well, I taste nah, that's one. that's cap. You can make a good mixed drink. Bro, I've never tasted anything that I like. And I've tried. You've tried even like But hush, what about pussy, even though? Hush punch. What about different varieties of pussy that you taste? <laughs> That you like? Is it a certain flavor that you like? Well, you know, if you don't taste like water, I don't really want it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, I mean, you don't like the cucumber, the, 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 the damn mango, melon, the the melon, 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 mango. <laughs> you know, a little Jolly Rancher. <laughs> like, you no, know, for real. You don't remember when we teach you to that Jolly Rancher trick? Hold on, man, Mark. You remember when we teach you to the Jolly Rancher trick? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't want to have no fun. <laughs> Why you bring me over here, man? You don't want to have no motherfucking fun. Um, this is me having fun. This is me having fun. Can somebody get him a coaster, please? <laughs> Let's make a coaster. Give me a I'll just hold oh, my man. I'll just hold my drink. Now, nah, but for real, I mean? like hush punch, they ain't never get you like nothing. And you know what? There you go. Cause you ain't been to school. I guarantee you, if you would have went to school, uh, that's, yeah, you're right. That's you, a whole nother. It'd have been some you know. Q juice, some Sigma juice, some Alpha Kappa juice, some one of them juices would have got because the mix is so good. You'd have just been drinking it and not know. And, and because you know, if them freshman girls <laughs> like it, they, they, you'd love it. You, <laughs> hey, see, again, I, it's it's a theory that I would just have to. It's a it's a I, multiverse. I was playing about the culture, yeah. It's a, it's a it's a multiverse. <laughs> now they on point. They on point, man. Shout out to the young boys. Yeah, shout out to the young boys. Yeah, man, you got a great staff, man. man you got a great staff. I don't have a staff. It's a team. Team. I have a team. Okay. <laughs> team. Team. I am not a leader. Teamwork made the dream. Man. I am just a worker that walks in front. 
Nah, you the leader. That sounds like some bullshit. That's, 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 that's cap. I had no. my cap button uh, back for twenty twenty. As, 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 as a leader, right? Yeah. Uh, no, but I try to embrace that style of leadership as well. You know, servant leadership. Nah, I just play. I ain't like, I ain't like that for like, real. That's just okay. So you just a hard. Nigga, hard I named ass. this shit just Eldridge Media. Right. <laughs> you say you, you say you control. Look, just <laughs> Eldridge. I really <laughs> wish. I really wish we recorded the moment we was in that lab and you was saying. It's just Eldridge. <laughs> like, fuck it. it ain't worry about just this Eldridge. nigga. Because, uh, you know, every, it's because just this, this has Eldridge. been the most successful business I ever started. For sure. Mm. Uh, Keith done been around for a lot of years. And this about, what, number six? Man, it's about six that 16. I know of. Yeah, right. If you want to depend <laughs> it's on It's about what. number six that I know of. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. And you know why? It's because. Because you're a serial it, entrepreneur. It, no, because I was trying to be cool and let nice. people lead with me. That really just ain't got the chops with me. Mm. That ain't gonna have the legs to run like I'm gonna run. Mm. Like again, because I like I just said before, I obsess and I'm like control. It's a level of don't stop in me that most people mm. ain't built with. I feel you. Yeah. You know, my thing is, man, and I have learned, you know, and this this pandemic taught me. Yeah, what what the pandemic teach this you? This thing taught me. I wanna, I wanna know. It ain't teach me shit. You know, you know, I, and I think it taught a lot of people. You know, one of the things that it taught me was wear soft shoes because it make your feet feel good. <laughs> I learned this in the pandemic. I was a hard bottom shoe. I thought you was gay if you had soft bottom shoes on, you know. <laughs> nah, but you uh, tennis shoes. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about you know you know the like soft them bottom easy, shoes. You know them soft. No, he talking about them dress shoes with yeah, the little, little with the little soft bottom. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. I was yeah, like, the man, ones so, that Maui I was like, yeah, I was about to say, like, yeah, like my only, like my only wear them now. <laughs> but now all black men lab wear them. Like, <laughs> but that's all I wear now, cold huns, cause yeah. they feel good to your feet. You know what I'm saying? So I learned. No, what I learned was is that my comfort is important. Mm. I like that, I like man. That. I know, I know you can't. I know I don't look like it, but I'm 60 years old, bro. I'm on the backside of the mountain. <laughs> I mean, if 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 shit go good, I got twelve years left. Think about that shit, man. That's real. I'm talking about if shit go good, I got about twelve years left okay. on the planet. I think you got longer than twelve. I, I, I hope so. You know, trust me. I'm not fatalistic in any way, not morbid, uh, but I'm realist. I'm a realist. I am a little and so And so, you know, what this thing has taught me is to, uh, you know how folks be talking about level up? Yeah. Taught me to scale down. Okay. okay. Uh, that's a good That's a good thing. Scale, I've seen a lot of people over there. No, no, scale I, I learned down. the same thing. I've never been, I've been, I used to be a hoarder type person. I've been, I've been learning just to throw shit yeah. away. Well, you know me, what I'm learning is to give shit away. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. I'm and I'm loving it. Mm -hmm. I'm loving this iteration of myself. I'm loving this this yoga Negro, right? Uh, who be who? Find, I find I'm talking about, bro. Th that's the only thing that I look forward to besides church. I mean, that I look forward to that shit. To giving stuff away. To giving stuff away. To you know. Uh, matter of fact, man, I went over to this brother. It's a brother that pastors a church near mine, right around the corner. And I noticed uh, last year he had on a necklace that had this lion's head on it, right? And I got this ring with a, the exact lion's head. So I went to his church this morning to go give it to him. But his church had already started. Maybe think about what you did with me the other week. Uh, a couple of months ago, exactly. just came and brought me something that was valuable, you know, that I that I that I cherish, and I wanted to do that for somebody else. Now this dude ain't my friend; we he ain't as close as as, as we are. Yeah. But I noticed that he already had the necklace and didn't have the ring, so here the ring is, brother. You know and what I mean? That's something. That's something mm -hmm. that's been a part of my lifestyle for a long time. Like matter of fact, I want to give something to you today. My, you can literally take whatever you want out of this house. Except the cameras or the lights or the mics. How the, about or the phone? How about <laughs> how about how about the sister that bought the rib? <laughs> Can't take her. Some things are priceless. Oh, I will. I, 
Yeah. I, you know, hell, I was just testing, man. I'm old. You know I'm old. <laughs> man, yeah. it is, it is, like, that process, like, my, I got to give my parents that. Like, my parents really instilled the giving away. Mm-hmm. And I used to hate it when I was young. Because we used mm-hmm. to give people shit away that we didn't even have. Right. I know, the, like... <laughs> How baby girl give away that Lenovo tablet like that? I, I'm Look, still man. like, how you just give away a whole tablet? You Look, know what man, I'm saying? Revolutionary black grace. Oh, yeah. That's what I preached about today, man. Break, and, down, break down that And concept. it was the, I mean, I believe this was, well, of course, this is the most powerful sermon that I've preached this year. But it's only three weeks in, but still. Uh, the first week, it was dope. The second week, it was booty. But this week, I, what, I'm in there. What made what made like what makes a sermon booty? Like I never heard a pastor like just acknowledge like yeah my sermon booty. Yeah, that sermon was ass. Well, <laughs> for like me, for, for for me, my sermons. Um, I I prefer, even though I have a a, a voluminous archive. Right, what the voluminous mean? You know what volu- volumes? I got plenty. Okay, I got I'm, plenty of archives, S-A-T right? Word. Uh, SAT word, SAT uh, word. Man, be, you can't do that. You got to let motherfuckers look that shit up. That's why I say it. Okay. So you go look it up. Okay. You know, goddamn, this is this is a, a dumbass phone, or it could be a smartphone. <laughs> Start asking this motherfucker the right questions. Hey, All right. Man. Anyway, my bad. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. My bad. All I'm saying is. Voluminous. You know, I was just trying to control the public. I know, right, I know. Going. This your show, just El- just going. Eldridge Media. I'm, I'm clear. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. You got voluminous. Okay. Even though I have a great amount of sermons that I have written over the past thirty years, mm-hmm. I don't feel good unless I grind and do the work to produce fresh content. Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so it was a rerun on the second week. I, I bump because I, I sometimes, you know, life, <laughs> sometimes read, life overtake you. That wasn't around 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah, I did that. Out. You know, the one I did, I had done that one probably maybe five years ago, mm. you know. Uh, and I don't, but I don't like doing that. I like doing the work. But sometimes it's like, like a stand-up comedian. Like, yeah, they had the same, and, you know what I'm saying? And truth be told, if I'm going to be real with you, most mm-hmm. artists' music be ass outside of their rookie year. So maybe mm-hmm. I want some of them first sermons. Like, yeah. give me that college dropout bruh. sermon. Yeah, yeah. Preacher, I want to hear this. Bruh, 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 preaching ain't the same, trust me. Uh, no, for real, your like, ass, like the classic uh, stuff. Because when I started, you don't want to hear none of my, <laughs> none of my start. No, I, see, I feel like nowadays, it was terrible. We, we're in this wave of like, even my kids say this, the classic stuff is better. Like, they'll watch a show, and they'll be uh, like, damn, I like, I like all your reboots. old. Yeah, I like your old version of the show, the reboot. But so, you've heard me say this before, Eldridge. If a person who has been doing a thing for 30 years and hasn't gotten good at it, you need to stop doing that. Mm-hmm. See, I've got I be I've become, you know, I call myself I'm the most dangerous preacher in America. Cause I say that shit. I say whatever it is that spirit, the ancestors give me to say that's gonna get black people free. Period. That's why I'm the most dangerous preacher in America. You feel me? And that's why I buck, and that's why I was, I like when you hit the gun, because that's why I bust off, like I bust off, you know, and you a witness today, you know that shit was fire. Yep. That shit was fire. Revolutionary black grace. Oh, yeah, talk about, what is that? What, what preacher you know talking about that shit? Nobody. No, 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 no. You see what I'm saying? So I know I'm the baddest motherfucker in the world on this shit. Mm. Period. Break down that concept for Keith because he didn't, he didn't tap in. Okay, so revolutionary black grace. Uh, revolutionary means something that causes change, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Grace being unmerited favor and what I, uh, I broke it down because this is an artist I, I got hip to last night by the name of uh, Blessings 04. Young boys, y'all know about Blessing 04? Blessings 04. He's a Nigerian mm-hmm. a brother who went blind at the age of 10 and sang gospel, but it ain't gospel. Okay. It's just, it's, cause I, I'm gonna be honest with you, and there's some whole more shit we can talk about from an OG to a G, which is 
and you know I'm trappy. I'm the trap pastor. Okay. But at this point, I can't do, I can't do this shit no more. This hip hop shit. I can't do this bullshit no more. I can't do nobody telling me to kill, saying that we gonna die, get talking about death. I can't do that shit right now. I mean, I you know, of course, Freddie Gibbs. I love Freddie Gibbs. Hey. Freddie Gibbs can say whatever the hell he want to say. Uh, but the rest of these Negroes, I ain't even trying to hear it because my spirit can't handle it right now. Right. Freddie Greek, Freddie Gibbs, so authentic. And you know, the last song I played when I did my my show on on on, on the radio yeah. was a Freddie Gibbs tune. I, you know, if you're authentic and you're real, I can hear you. But I just can't listen to people cussing me out for the hell of it. I can't listen right now to people saying things in front of my wife and my daughter that embarrass me. I ain't, I ain't open to that right now. So when I talk about revolutionary black grace, what I'm talking about is uh, grace. You know what grace means? One more chance. Mm. I'm going to give you one more chance to disappoint me. I'm going to give you one more chance to do something to me that is hurtful. I'm going to give you one more chance. You see what I'm saying? Right. And if black people could learn to give each other one more chance, the murder rate in our community would plummet. If we could learn to give each other one more chance, the divorce rate in our community would plummet. If we could learn to give each other one more chance. That shit broke me down. Because that's what my wife has done for me. That's what my children have done for me. They gave me one more chance. And if we would give each other one more chance, we could figure out a way to coexist with each other and to rise, you mighty race. Mm. But they got us mad at each other. They got us hating each other. And so we can't rise. Mm. And all I want is for us to rise because we don't deserve to be on the bottom. We don't deserve to refer to ourselves as minorities. We don't deserve to feel second class. We don't deserve to have other diasporic blacks living in the third world and continental Africans not even being able to purchase land on their own damn continent. Damn. See what I'm saying? So revolutionary black grace is that which opens black people up to giving each other one, one more chance. chance. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, see, this is why I fuck with Slaughter, man. That's the artist. Mm -hmm. It sound good. Yeah. It sound good. Oh, it's that motherfucker off the chain, player. He got a jail called Grace. Yeah. Grace. I know I hurt you. Yeah. I know I don't deserve it. Man, this shit. No some tissue. This shit, I don't need no tissue, man. I cry because I like it. Nah, this, <coughs> you can still wipe it if you like, like it, nigga. This shit cleanse me. <laughs> I need it. I right, need yeah. it. I cry. try to cry every damn day. I ain't going to lie. I don't shit. If I don't get a tear, uh, if I don't shed a tear, nigga, I'm full of poison and pollutants. I'm good, brother, for real. If you like what you hear today, uh, hit that cash app link in the uh, show notes. Hell yeah, yeah, show Mr. E some love. No, we got your cash Anybody ever worry about, anybody ever wonder why, do y'all ever wonder why I call him Mr. E? No, why you call him Mr. E? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-oh. Yeah, because he worthy of respect. Mm. And he's shown himself worthy since the first day I met him. This nigga will talk my children. See, I didn't expose my children to whites. I did not. Ex I did not want my children to feel what I felt. Mm -hmm. I didn't want them to feel like it was somebody 
that didn't look like them who was in charge of them. Because mm-hmm. I was setting them up to be free black people, right? Mm-hmm. But if you let if you let people who don't look like you educate your children, they going to educate them to hate you and to love them. Man, who you telling? And we turn our children over to our enemies every morning. That's why we're losing the fight. And that's why we yeah, we ain't going to be able to win. Ain't nobody, look, can't be mad at white folks for trying to set up the situation for them to win. Yeah, that's what everybody's doing. You can't be mad at them for that. Yeah. Right? That's what they're trying to do. they setting it up for their kids to win. Mm-hmm. So if they have to stunt and diminish your children for their children to win Mm -hmm. that's what they're going to do and you a damn fool for thinking they're going to do something other than that you are you are you a fucking idiot you see what i'm saying Mm -hmm. and they got black people running around this motherfucker like we in fucking sane because we are right we're insane we're insane and we need revolutionary black grace to bring us back to no, what you to like, go no, ahead. No, I was gonna ask you. Uh, so those seeds that you planted in your kids, as far as the education, yeah. how have you seen them grown now? Oh, bro, it's paying off. Can I say, hold on? Oh, it's, 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 it, it doesn't pay. It's already paying off. Oh, yeah, before you get there, because y'all yeah. got the Keith and Keith, y'all got the same uh, scenario: two sons and a daughter. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Go. So Keith you know, I got two daughters. Oh, you know, I know you yeah. Got two and Eldridge, if your ass was worth any damn thing. I would turn you on to my oldest daughter. <laughs> but you ain't shit. Fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. Because I would have to murder your ass. <laughs> I would have to fucking murder you, man. I would never want you as a father-in-law. I would murder your ass. And all them damn niggas that, that's in your family, they be wanting to kill me and all this. Man, we don't need all that. They be a little more. <laughs> We don't need all that. But, but, but uh, my, house slaughter in house look, Washington. My, my my oldest daughter, my oldest daughter, and Maya, daughter gorgeous. But because I love the brother so much, yeah, I don't uh, even know her name. My oldest daughter, Maya, is an attorney uh-huh. for one of the oldest law firms in the state of South Carolina. Shut up. Uh, she was on Elizabeth Warren's uh, uh, presidential. Team, mm. she was in charge of the whole state of South Carolina. She must have been the one she's on the South Carolina. She's on the South Carolina Board of Education. I mean, That's she's thirty. She just turned thirty-one. She fine. She fine. She beautiful. And I mean, I'm serious. My daughter is one of the baddest black women on the damn planet. Mm-hmm. My other daughter, she she just tripped me out. She was working at UPS. I mean, she's a Spelman grad, right? Mm-hmm. She was working at UPS as a supervisor, right? As a, uh, and I was like, you know, why are you doing this? You're wasting your life, you know? They working at super- man. She played that thing out and got knocked up to a manager. Now she like, <laughs> like <laughs> sucker, <laughs> like you didn't see. Yeah, I had a plan and, I, and yeah. I made that thing happen. My son, man, my oldest son. Uh, just got a a, a shout out to uh, uh my 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 damn councilman, my councilman, brother Antonio. Okay, Luke. Okay, okay. Man, shout out to my because he did what a councilman was supposed to do. He put him on. He put my son on, baby. That's what's you know what I'm saying. Son. And that Negro doing good. And my baby That's son. My councilman too. And my baby son about to graduate. Baby yeah, son, right from from Clark, Atlanta. Mala you know what I'm saying? He a senior. That he he. That's who I talk. He, I talk about. He yeah. ushered my son. That's I think that's through. what I meant. Mala yeah. actually is the reason why I got locks too. Yeah, that's the reason what I meant. Yeah, Mala was like he had these long locks. The kids, as, as, yeah, because you know what? One of the, you know one of the things that I was clear about is that black people, our people, don't hate on you as much. If they perceive you to be beautiful. Mm-hmm. And I knew that his locks would make him beautiful. Mm. 
So we invested the money into the maintenance of it. Do you see? Because I wanted him to feel beautiful. So when you ask me, you know, did what I invested in my children pay off? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. It did. You got to engineer a damn Negro. Have a plan. If you ain't if you, you ain't have planning, to control. <laughs> man, if you ain't planning for your your children and see, look, Richard, Richard's look, plan. I'm, Big the Christmas, I'm looking. Pages. I'm looking to be an ancestor. Yes, sir. I want my voice heard a thousand years from now. I want my voice to be heard a thousand years from now. And the only way that I can ensure that that happens is I place inside my children my spirit. I got to infuse, I got to love them crazy. And that's what I try to do. I try to love my children absolutely. I, 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 I give them whatever I can give them and I'm not spoiling them because they grown now. Right. I be wanting them to see daddy love you more than anything in the world. So you ain't got to accept that bullshit from that punk ass nigga that tried to kill your ass right. who you thought loved you. You got I got to, you ain't got to accept that shit. Right. right? And to my sons, Negroes, you don't you don't you don't have to brutalize anyone. What you got to do is just chill back and rest in your beauty because somebody else coming that's going to be looking for you that you ain't got to fight with. Early, <laughs> earlier you said, <laughs> earlier you said, yeah, you did. Earlier you said uh, your child, your children gave you one more chance. One more chance. What's the um, biggest mistake you would tell us as young fathers to avoid on our journey of fatherhood? <laughs> I th- I think and this is today mm-hmm. you know I think uh, the best advice that I can give to a young father as it relates to working with their children man you gotta take care of their damn mama yeah. you got to take care of their mama that is a perfect and you got to make her feel safe. If she don't feel safe, she going to fuck your kids up. Mm-hmm. So you got to make her feel safe and confident. She can't feel shaky. And niggas, we be doing shit to make our women feel shaky. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Look, this is a 60 year old nigga talking. 40 mm-hmm. year old slaughter. <laughs> <laughs> Bunny! You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm 60, bruh, and I feel it. You know, it's important to me. You know, my legacy is now the most important thing to me as opposed to my fun. See? <laughs> See, I'm just thinking about my legacy. Yeah. yeah, it's my legacy that's most important to me. So right now, what I am is mad at my kids because they won't give me no grandkids. But they have listened to me and they're trying to get that shit together. Before they have, I was just going to yeah. ask you because uh, I know you didn't mention grandkids, but did mm-hmm. you have a message? I ain't got no, not a one, man. And that's the that's the whole in my life because I got so much. Like I said, I probably got twelve years left. I want to I want to I want to be with him. I want to I want to kick it with him so I can so my voice can be heard a thousand years from now. Makes sense. Look, yeah. this this is a, this, you gave me a perfect segue with your advice. Do your thing. To the video. Get out get out my car. Get out my mama. I see you. You used to take care of him, bro. She broke up with me and got with another
Bro, how you sound? You talking about you not, bro, you I can't, bro, I can't bro, take care of the kids. Shut that, sh shut that shit I up, bro. I can't take care of the kids and shit with another hey, man, bro. Hey, dog, shut that shit up because you pissing me off, bro. Like, oh, I, I, bro. I damn near ain't going to want you in my car because I'm trying to tell you, bro. Like, bro, you talking serious. about, it is that serious, bro. Like, don't condone this shit, bro. He telling me right now, this man telling me right now he ain't taking care of his kids because his, his baby mama got a new boyfriend. Listen, bro. Nigga, who cares? Bro, I'm serious, bro. Who cares? Bro. Bro, you Who cares? Understand. I'm trying to explain it to you, though, bro. But it ain't no, me, it ain't no, it ain't no. Why do you care about, why you bro, care so much for him? This is what I said, bro. Like, you dumb, too, if you believe the fact this man just said out his own mouth, I ain't taking care of my kids because my baby mama got a bro, new boyfriend. She posted a picture, your kid. Bro, she posted a picture with her and the dude and my kids, bro, on Facebook, bro. Who give a f bro? This ain't about the man. man that hurt my feelings, bro. Bro, it's about your kids, bro. Bro. Yeah, bro, you sound like I'm, emotional ass. You sound like a soft ass, emotional ass right now, bro. You mad about your, you mad at the, it about your kids, bro. Don't tell me what a turn. I might not. You about to get out this motherfucker in a minute, bro. Nah, you want to kick me bro, out? Bro, cause you gotta shit. fix that shit, bro. You gotta fix that shit, bro. Like, bro. ain't no way you can sit up here and tell me, bro. I'm not gonna be friends with no man that don't take care of their kids. That bullshit ass excuse, bro. You ain't tell, you ain't talking about shit right now. But that's so how you, but he grown, bro. Like, you don't want to take care of take care, Marky. You talk to her? Bro, no, you tell me, you tell me. I just saw my ass, you get your kids. Like, no, well, I tell you. She f*** with that. She f*** with that. The wicked ass shit, said, bro. You tell me. She cheated on me with this man, bro. I'm hurt, bro. Bro, f*** all that, bro. At the end of the day, so your kids gonna suffer because you mad about another f*** in your b***. That shit happens every day. Bro, that shit ain't cool. That shit happen every day. Bro, that shit happen every day, bro. Nigga, that shit ain't cool. She's about you not taking care of your kids. She took a picture with this with my kids. Like, that's still weak, bro. That shit over, bro. Me, bro. Okay, I understand it's weak, bro, but that don't mean shit, bro. Like, you acting like a ass right now. Fuck, bro. You, like a, bro. you acting like a ass bro. You acting like a ass bro. Like a ass bro. Like a ass bro. All right, so, 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 he, so, he, so, he, so he does proceed to, uh, to kick him out the car then. Whatever. I mean, I understand the brother. That's Which, why I didn't leave. Because mm. I didn't want to be mad. Cause no another nigga were taking care of my but, clean. But the issue for him, <laughs> the issue for him was though this was the dude that set she it up cheated. for the people that listen. To so uh, this is a video of a guy that said he's not taking care of his kids, and mm. his homeboy kicks him out the car right. because of this conversation. Right, I'm not taking care of the kids. He's saying right now he's hurt because the guy that the baby mama moved on with right. has taken pictures on Facebook, and this right. is the same guy that he caught her. Cheating on me. I I get it, and I'm and I'm I'm sorry, man. I'm with that brother, cause yeah. you know, you know, fuck <laughs> that, fuck I that. I ain't got nigga, kids. If you gonna, gonna if you gonna, if you gonna take, be taking pictures with my kids and shit, right? You them that them. they you you treating them like your kids. My 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 woman, your woman. Uh, y'all running it? Run that shit. Don't don't you know? I ain't I ain't got nothing to do with y'all household. Mm. That's y'all household. Run your household. That's what it sound like. You see yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm no, sorry. No, I, like, I mean, look, but and, 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 or, and it's, a, it's a moment of time. Like he said, he's is he's going through it right now. So all this seems very. Fresh. Or don't leave. If if if, if even I'm, if you can't, if I'm cheating? gone, look, man, my daddy left us, right? Mm -hmm. And what my mama's, uh, my daddy left us. I never forget. I was talking to my brother the other day. Uh, you know about it. You know, my brother is what uh, 50, um, 52. Right. Yeah, and I'm 60. See, this is some shit you don't never get over. Right. See, mm -hmm. you don't ever, ever get over that. Right. My daddy left. I was in the fifth grade. I never forget it. I was walking down the street with my partner, John Eddie Phillips. Right. And we was walking home after school, and my daddy pulled up in a Cadillac. Right, and uh, he, he, we, I got in the car, and my little brother was in the car, and Daddy rolled us out. We lived in Arkansas, so Daddy rolled us out to the Mississippi River, and he was drinking a, a cocktail, and uh, he said, "I'm going to be gone. You won't be seeing me for a while." And uh, you know, little did we know, Daddy had. Uh, <laughs> When he got the Cadillac in Mama name, you know, and 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 at the at the suit store that that he was working at, 
because my dad was a preacher. Yeah. So he, and, and he and he got like ten suits from the suit store on my mama name. Damn. And he rolled out, right, and went to make his place in the world. And my mama always said, you know, he said that we he felt that we was holding him back. So my mama said, my mama said, I'm going to take care of y'all. And she didn't never bring no other motherfucker in our house. Because we was a family. Our family was fractured. Mm-hmm. That don't mean my mama didn't didn't uh have friends. Have friends. Mm-hmm. But what if she would what if mama would have found somebody that loved her and would have loved y'all? And then she would have probably gone forward with that if that could have yeah. but that wasn't didn't happen. Just so happened, yeah, my mama fall in love with niggas who was already married. Yeah. Y'all don't like to do yeah. truth. I I see I done found out. Y'all don't like to do nah, truth. Nah, you, but that's you, the you, real. You definitely on well, the other the side. nigga that my mama my, the nigga that that, that would come to my mama who wanted to take on a, a woman that had two kids? So, <laughs> I, mama, huh? it's not this shit I be saying all the time. Your mama shouldn't have met an elder. Huh? Well, you gotta get it. You wanna take on two two little boys? Little bad boys too, huh? Get your ass with that. Yeah. Don't nobody, yeah. nobody want seen, that. I seen your slick ass brother. What time a nigga said? What time a, a nigga told my brother? He said, Hey man, <laughs> you look like a pimp. And my brother said, with a straight face, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, that nigga brother, let me tell you. I am. That's my brother, man. When I two things, I, I see that, that brother nigga. nigga was so goddamn clean. But when I say he had on the suit. And then he had the beard, the the, uh, the mustache that curved up. Y'all don't know nothing about Raleigh Fingers. Y'all remember Raleigh Fingers? <laughs> he was a he was a pitcher, played for the Oakland A's. Y'all, man, y'all yeah, forget that. See, yeah, OG, yeah. that's why you need me, yeah, I mean, LG. I mean, OG. <laughs> hey, hey. Okay, but but yeah. on the video side, now I will say, I understand his brother. I agree with Slaughter. Like, hey, this it sounds fresh. So like, it sounds so fresh that I wish his homeboy would have heard him and been like. He understands, cause bro, it sounds like he said something you know what? out of emotion you to know his what? homeboy, yeah. and his homeboy was on some trip shit. But in reality, are you really gonna not take care of your kids? For That's this what I'm shit? saying. Some, I think he said some. I think you know Eldred, you say some crazy shit. My, like, I'm gonna kill you know, that bitch. My that, thing you know, is, well, that's what I'm saying. He could have said all that. But look, he just man, saying, fuck them kids, leave them alone. Look, man. They be uh, as 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 a as a man, I've always been clear that. I don't desire. It's not my desire. And and this ain't just my this ain't just me. This is what has driven humankind uh from the beginning of the development of civilization. Right. Right? No one wants to take care of children who don't belong to them. Okay? All right. I mean, I'm talking about that has driven civilization. Yeah. That's why we got law. I mean, that's why we got like commandments like thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Because what that does is it undermines the fabric of community. Community can't stand if you fucking my wife. Yeah, that don't work. Cause we gonna, I'm gonna have to. We going to the war. Mm-hmm. Community can't can't exist. Cause right. we got to go to war. Well, not in so, this community, it might yeah. be a different community. So no, no community can that shit exist. So what about the communities where everybody doing everything? Uh, with the, a poly, but yeah, no, but yeah. they have they have a system that they are observing. It's cultural, okay. and they are observing that, and it's has not. It, it ain't it's our on, culture. It's on the up and up. We on this culture that we in. This is a motherfucking deaf culture. I believe that. We live in a deaf culture, baby. Nigga, we man, we people who encoded in our DNA is the horror of enslavement. Listen, on the tip of your finger can fit a dab of DNA. And research has shown in just, I'm talking about a drop with a couple of milliliters, a couple of milliliters of, of, of DNA, is the history of the entire world. We actually walking USBs. 
right? Because we got all of the information. You just don't know how to ask the right questions. That's what I keep telling you about. You got to ask the right questions questions and when you begin to ask the right questions then you get the answers so from the beginning the dna see i keep telling you the ancestors are attempting to speak and when we cross that shit up with lies and bullshit right Mm -hmm. right it is confusing for us and we can't and it makes it more difficult to make the connections to the ancestors the ancestors the only thing that's going that's keeping us right. it's the only thing that's keeping us i, I know that. we think we keeping ourselves it ain't nothing but the ancestors bro and you know and you know who told me that who the, the motherfucking ancestors i can agree with that word i can agree with that completely Word. That's why Coco was so fucked up. Who Co- is Coco? The movie, the Disney movie Coco. I don't know if you watched. That. I ain't seen that. Shit. See, so, so you gotta put you on the old stuff. You yeah, so y'all put me. That's, stuff. No, and so that's look, why I come around, so, so, so look, you can do so, that. So the movie Coco is pretty it's, dope. It's, 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 it's based off of uh, the Mexican holiday, the Day of the Dead. Okay, you know what I'm saying the okay. whole concept. Muerta. Yeah. Mm. So they have Mexican believe you can die. You die the first time you die, you still live in the afterlife. The only time you die. Is when the last person living stops saying your, your name. Your name, yeah. And, 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 and can I say to you that Mexican culture is totally informed by African, African culture. culture. I'm very, I agree Period. With, that. I mean, with all the pyramids and all, come on, I get all that. Yeah, okay, I get all that. All right. I know well, you makes, do. I know you do. But I'm yeah. just, you know, it's other motherfuckers watching this. It's podcast. Yeah, yeah, inform yeah, y'all. Yeah. 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 I ain't trying to teach you. I was just trying to control the narrative. Yeah. Nigga, I ain't trying to teach you. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, but, saying that to say, mm. you know, when you say, you but you didn't to- say I was a fucking university professor when we started the podcast, so people might think I'm just <laughs> saying shit because I'm a nigga with a big mouth. No. I got to earn doctorate. I talk shit because I learned how to talk shit. Talk that talk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Right. <laughs> you ain't, you ain't people don't listen at me, but I still, that don't still on me. Speaking of talking, man, for the first time ever, we're going to do this live, man. Let's what's, do this. What's up? You want a podcast, man? What you want to talk about? Who? We want you on the podcast. We want, you on the, we want, we want to work with you. I already told you. Yeah, dang. You want me to say it out, out loud, what I told you in the email and in the text and- when I called you and told you, shit, you my nigga, you my hero. I want to be down. Yeah. I want to be down with what you growing because you doing something, right, that you doing something that many people might be attempting to do, but I know you got the spirit to do it right. And you one of the few people in the world that I trust not to fuck me. Mm. Every, uh, the, the rest of these niggas in Atlanta, you a hell, I ain't got to tell you. That's why you doing your whole thing. Because yeah. these niggas ain't shit. Yeah, yeah. They will run it up in you, put on one of them studded condoms. <laughs> and run up in you, shawty. You know what I'm saying? This this the A, baby. You know what I'm saying? Look, everybody, everybody came here. Yeah, I yeah. wasn't the nigga, only nigga that, that 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 and look, don't nobody give Goody Mob the, and Outcast the credit that they deserve. That's who brought me here. Mm. It wasn't even Outcast; it was Goody Mob. Mm. <laughs> Goody Mob said one million niggas inside. <laughs> I can come here and be free. <laughs> before when I was before when I was younger, what people said. You know, from my part of the country, Arkansas, yeah. go to Chicago. That's where niggas free, right? Yeah. And at the time, a Chicago was the blackest city in the in in the country, right? Now, the blackest city in the country is the city of South Fulton. Stop fucking playing. Yeah. Stop yeah. fucking playing around. I don't want to be nowhere. That ain't the center of the black world. I'm over here. <laughs> so, so let me ask you this: what, yeah. what's what's an OG? What's something that we need to know that you see that's missing? Like, man, you know what, bro? That's I, 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 I one, one thing I know. 
<clears throat> this was popping around in my head, man. And, and I don't know why this shit stick in my head. We was having this conversation with your cousin. When I, and I said, and that nigga, I, you know, I don't know what to say about that nigga. But uh, shout out to Floyd. <laughs> shout out to Floyd. <laughs> love Floyd. I don't know why Floyd don't believe I love him. I mean, we ain't had this conversation. Yeah, we, I don't know, we had it kind of, but we ain't have it, have it. Floyd said, and I forget. I don't know why this shit keep on popping up in my mind. When I first met him, we were together. And I said, this boy here, we got to keep our eye on him. I remember that. And he said, that ain't no boy. He a Floyd. <laughs> I remember that. He ain't no boy. And I don't know why that shit stuck with me like it stuck with me. But what I have discovered is that he was correct. You ain't no boy. You're a man. Straight up. And you do what men do. See, a boy, a boy, other people have to take care of him. Mm. A good boy can take care of himself. But a man take care of himself and other people. You see? Mm-hmm. So, hey, the reason I want to kick it with you, cause hell, I'm a man's man. The the biggest compliment that ever been played to, to pay to me in my life. Some I can't even remember who said it now. But they said, Slaughter, you a nigga's nigga. <laughs> that's the that's the that's the that's the that's finest the compliment that, that has ever been paid to me in my life. And uh Eldridge, you a nigga's nigga. Hey, hey, I appreciate so, that. You buddy. feel me? I appreciate you feel that. me? So yeah, I'm my I am interested in making uh connections, intergenerational connections mm-hmm. is a part of why I'm on the planet. Yeah. We, cause we can't advance unless information is transferred. <laughs> so yeah, so that's what I'm interested in doing, and and I, you know, I know my what my superpower has been. What's that? My superpower has been, I have did this intentionally, building with my OGs, like, and not in passing, not when they called me around, not when it. I intentionally, I call Langford every day when I can be around Langford. You know mm-hmm, what I'm saying? Yeah, the late great. Yeah. The, yeah. And, and and what's so crazy about Langford, here's a fucked up thing. When I found out Langford was dead, literally a thousand questions came to my head that I never asked him. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. Well, let's don't let that happen with me. <laughs> it, no, it, it 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 won't. But what I want to do with you, because you do have a passion, oh, my why I love you. Everybody knows my relationship with Derek and how much Derek has done for me. Most people think my relationship with V One Hundred Three and WLK is because of Derek. It's not. It's because of you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like now, cause you blessed me though. So you, I mean, you gotta understand. It wasn't cause. So much I was trying. I'm gonna be honest. It wasn't so much that I was trying to bless you. I, you know, I, I saw what who you were, and I was clear about who you who you are. But, bruh, you was blessing me. You blessed me with a a a, a younger demographic right. who would tune in because they wanted to hear what you had to say. I just had sense enough to know that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you 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 have that sense. That sense a lot of elders don't have. So I would mm-hmm. love a platform where that information that I went looking for, right? I had to find it. And it wasn't always easy to find. Mm-hmm. It was ready available, right? Mm-hmm. With those stories, with those names, mm-hmm. with those information can be transferred over thousand years. That's what I'm trying to do. It's a beautiful thing. It's a great and a high aspiration. Uh, you know. You are an an autodidact. Hold on. <laughs> go and look it up, man. Yeah, y'all go look that shit up. <laughs> we don't put a lot of you're, words. You're an auto. You're an auto. We got a lot of catches punched by him in this one right here, okay. boy. 
All right, first, so, you, first you have to spell it right. No, nah, I, I got it. A, do, a autodidact is a self-taught person. Okay, I agree with that. Okay. Keep going. You, 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 <clears throat> the key word is taught. You learn. Mm -hmm. And you take responsibility for your learning. Right, so anybody who takes responsibility for their own learning, I can follow. If you ain't, if if you ain't trying to learn and grow and develop and build, we ain't got. I mean, I can talk to you, but we shit, we ain't really got shit to talk about. Right, right. What are we trying to build as a legacy for our people, or are we just bullshitting and wasting our time? Right. You know. <clears throat> I know that my, the show that I had on WAOK, I know that it impacted people's lives every day because right. I intentionally, inti and I was trying to get fired every damn day because I was going to build up black people to the exclusion of all others, period. Right. And I didn't give a damn how nobody felt about it because ain't no way in the world I was going to have access to that kind of opportunity and it be said that I didn't bless black people. I couldn't live with that. Right. I could not, I could not live my life with it being said that one day I took off blessing black people. Not one day because I knew that shit wasn't going to last. Right. I just didn't think it was going to last five years. Hell, fucking five years. Hell, I was trying to get fired every damn day. That's a long time. Damn. I didn't even realize it was five years. You know what I'm saying? This and see, this is, but this is the shit that people don't talk about, and I'm saying it. I mean, I was looking at a, uh, somebody tagged me on a post on Facebook. You know, old people, social media. Mm -hmm. Some people <laughs> tagged me on oh, it. They're trying to yeah, get it back. Yeah, yeah, they're trying to get it back. They, they paying for them reels. They pay, yeah, they paying shit. We better be on <laughs> Facebook. <after. laughs> Matter of fact, I was going to talk to you about it after the pod because that Spotify shit. But, Something but, happened, but I'll show you. somebody put a uh 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 somebody tagged me uh on Rashad Richie's page. <clears throat> right, somebody tagged me on that. Yeah. And uh they were saying, you know, Rashad hadn't been on the radio a lot in the last, you know, few day or weeks or whatever, whatever. And we want Dr. Slaughter to come back, right? And then somebody popped on on there and said, Dr. Slaughter is, you know, basically, this is not a direct quote, but it was like, he's full of shit. He uh, shaded uh, Rashad. He shaded everybody except DB. He even shaded Gene Ross, right? He shaded everybody except DB. And you motherfucking right, because all the rest of you bitches is shaded. <laughs> The only one of you motherfuckers that wasn't shady was DB. That's why I didn't shade him. I shade every motherfucker who deserve a little darkness in their life. Yeah. <laughs> I meant that shit. Cause them motherfuckers was full of shit. And see, this is the thing, uh, Eldridge. What's up? They didn't find me because I was pro-black. They fired me because I didn't want to work for 15 punk ass dollars an hour. They was mother, and, and when I asked the cracker, the vice president of CBS, when he came to town, when I asked him, was there such a large deficit between the pay of AM radio personalities and FM personalities in the New York market? He said, no. AM personalities get paid the same as FM personalities in the New York market. And them motherfuckers was mad at me from then. The niggas was mad at me because I done made them, you know, I done upset the apple cart. And that's why they fucking fired me because I wanted them to be fair and do justice. And so wherever I am, I'm requiring fairness and justice if I am to engage my whole self in the process. Uh, 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 Otherwise, uh, I'm gonna be shading your ass. Hold on, so don't look. What? Don't come over here with that. Elders is good people, snap. He <laughs> oh, I know he ain't gonna give me no money. He feeds us. <laughs> look, I know he ain't finna give me no money. I ain't even worried about him. <laughs> Shit. 
shit, I'm gonna take he's his good, ass home he's and good feed him. Now. You come over here starting that yeah, trouble. I'm gonna I'm take him home and feed him. <laughs> shit, I'm, I'm all right. Hey, but look, but can't no I'm crackers from CBS damn right. who got billions on billions fucking play me like no bitch. Period. Nah, I'm just trying to control nah, a good <laughs> team over nah, there. Nah, nah, that shit. Nah. Fuck that. But that's that. And look, that's what podcasting would do, right? One, mm-hmm. you know, we want the unfiltered slider. I know a lot of people who listen to it on the radio they want the unfiltered slider. And two, yeah, go. You said something, <laughs> and I didn't. I didn't know this in conversation. Look, Fifteen dollars an hour. Yeah, that's some bullshit. But, Fifteen dollars. Look, Fifteen dollars an hour, and that's only if you show up. If you need a day off, your check shout them fifteen dollars an hour Damn. for them four punk ass hours. I'm about to say them over four hours, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Three. Man, that shit, that shit consumed my whole day mm-hmm. and whole life for damn near seven years. It consumed me. What are we gonna talk about? Well, you know how that shit come. How we gonna do it? <laughs> well, who gonna get? Well, this the motherfucker got my guest. Did he call my guest on time? I did, you know how I was about my show. Exactly. I didn't play that shit. That you niggas got day. my. I got a music list, nigga. I got everything. We nigga, this shit was important to me. I wanted to put out the best product that I could in order to bless and elevate black people. And who was them brothers that used to sing on the intro? Who made the intro? No, nah, that was that's my nephew. Oh, that was His name nephew. is Corey Robinson. Okay, shout He'll out Corey. He'll make man. you some motherfucking real music too. Okay. Shout out Corey. I shout call him Corey. today. And he, lo- I mean, this brother, man. Well, he, tell him you need a new intro. I, I, no, I'm going to tell him you need an intro and he'll do one for you. Oh, man. Do you there see? You there you go. Do you see? And I'll pay him. So, yeah, we want to use that pod. To Stop un- playing around, man. We want to use the pod to unleash you. you? But we also <laughs> want to do the pod because we need you. Uh, it's it's a void in the community right now. Like you, you're hitting it around is. sixty. I think my father's around the same age. Mm-hmm. His father and uh, my father-in-law y'all all around the same age. And I mean, grandkids, right? Like the grandfather. Man, in our niggas getting ready is, to die. We, we getting ready to leave this shit so to you. We need, but nah, we need, <laughs> we need you to put it on wax though. We need you to put it on wax for yeah. you leave. You know, because that's the issue I be having with, especially AM radio. They don't archive it the right way. Man, I nigga, I got every CD of every show I ever did. Mm-hmm. And whenever I get with the right Negro, they can help me figure out how to... Because yeah. I know I did classic shit. I know I made classic no, radio sure. every fucking I'm glad, I'm glad day. you got everyone on. There you go. I got every. Not, not, not most of them. I got every. At the end of the month, when they was getting ready to throw them out, I said, no, nah, I'll take those. Hey, I'll take those. Let's put that in the deal. Yeah. I'll take those. And I got them. I got every one of them. There you go. Because that's my intellectual property that I created. I just used their platform to broadcast it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's a beautiful thing. You own the platform. You own this shit. So make it do what it do. Ain't nothing in your way. And you already got an audience. Blast them out. Give the you know, as my I got a I got a partner name, and I'm I'm beefing with him, and I'm gonna have to call a nigga. Uh, uh Dr. Thomas, Dr. Thomas Craig the third, uh, who is a internal medicine Negro. He the only Negro in the history of Meharry Medical College that took every class at least twice. Damn. The only th- that's my friend, right? But I ain't we mad. I'm mad at him because he came to uh he gonna text me and say, I'm coming to the A for you know spell house. I be in the A. And this nigga come to Atlanta and then don't holler at me while he here. Cause he with them, you know, st- stick up the ass middle class. <laughs> Fuck ass Morehouse niggas that I send my and, and, you know and, and, and Spelman uh, women that I, and 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 I I can say I can say that because I sent my son to Morehouse and he graduated and I sent my daughter to Spelman and she graduated so I can say what I just said because I didn't right. gave their ass enough money to be able to say what hey, I no, want to say. Hey, no, you pay their ass. You talk shit about him. You can talk shit. <laughs> damn sure right about that. But that nigga didn't call me. But what he? What uh? Well, I was supposed to tell you what he always said, right? Uh. Thomas Edison Craig the Third, uh, 
Oh mm, shit! I hell, I forgot what the fuck it. That old you shit. Yeah, that's that old. Sh- and that shit happened, man. And I didn't have the COVID too. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I don't know shit. I'm I'm turn out. And on on my second double shot of Woodford Reserve. See that, that vaccine that reserve. Hey, that vaccine. I'm not gonna say what race people. Uh, hey, tell you. And what? Oh man. And what? Hey, look, you know what? Bro, but I love. You know, I, I thank you. Say that. Eldridge, I thank you for giving me the opportunity to be, you know, my, you know, myself. And you know, on my part, on my uh, live stream show, I was, you know, I wild out every day. Yeah. I wilded it out every day. What I did was I walked black people through the pandemic, mm. right? And I allowed black people to see a black man have two nervous breakdowns on the air. Because okay. mm-hmm. I, I had two, not one. <laughs> I but went down and came back and had another one, you know, in what, 2020, 2020? I had two damn nervous breakdowns in 2020. On the day, on film. They, I, they on YouTube, them shows on YouTube right now. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm final. Yeah, they out there, man. I was, I just, I just I melt. Gonna, I, I just I, fell apart. I ain't gonna let you have no meltdown over here. Well, uh, shit, I melt. I'm gonna control it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so y'all got enough. You get a, you had enough of slaughter today, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah we good. Okay, this yeah. has been good. Um, yeah, it's been great. We'll, this is what we'll, I do, baby. We'll lay out the paperwork. Logistics well, and all you that. Know, so Logistics, what I, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be good. We're rocking with it, though. You know what? My thing was, you know, I don't. I will do what needs to be done. And I don't always, you know, you ain't always got to take me to the hoop. Right. You know what I mean? My thing is, at this point, I do not waste my time. Because it's sharp like leprechauns. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't waste my time. A lot of tell people <laughs> how they can find your church and how they can support Man, you. Man, we had eleven thirteen Ira Street, right in the heart of the Pittsburgh community. Um, we've been there for seven years now, going on eight years. I just saw one hundred and fifty black people. Man, I just fed a hundred and fifty black families thirty pound boxes of food. We get down harder than Wayfield, Kroger, and Publix. You know what I'm saying? And Sprouts. And we and we are in partnership with different uh, food agencies mm-hmm. wherein we're able to give to people not no throwaway shit. Because the throwaway shit, huh, we throw, we it, throw away, it away. Right? <laughs> we throw it away. <laughs> Most of the stuff that we get, we had to throw away. We only give to people the Dang. best that, if, if I, again, if I won't eat it, I ain't finna give it to nobody else. Can I, can I make the announcement of my newest position? Well, that, we ain't oh, well, well, you 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 may you uh, may because yeah. I already told the, the, the yeah go ahead people. tell tell the people man. well the, the the newest member of the board of the beloved community development corporation <laughs> is none other than uh and and you know what I'm about to turn that shit look, up look and and while, I already be fundraising for my boy while people bu- bushing man. man we didn't raise we didn't raise a we didn't raise a half million motherfucking dollars man I'm gonna cut that out. <laughs> Do you hear what I say? Ain't gonna, ain't gonna let them you know what I'm saying? <laughs> in the last in the last five years, we done raised a half a million motherfucking dollars, player. I'm gonna get you that. I'm trying to get my kids. I'm trying to hit my Somebody ain't my son. I'm right. trying to I'm trying to hit my kids to it because they like, Dad, you just you know y'all feed the people and blah blah blah. Man, we done raised we done raised five hundred thousand. I'm about to step that up, man. And I'm thinking about and what we do and this the thing, Eldridge. Give it all away, cause that's what that's what get me off. <laughs> Giving it all away, right? So I have a legacy, because if I'm a hoarder, if I think that all things exist in reference to me, right? Then I squander the possibility of my legacy. Mm. Only thing you got left in your cold, dead hands when your ass is dead is what you have given away. That's it. 
<laughs> that being said, Dr. Slaughter, we thank you. Appreciate you for coming. Hey, man, on. you know what? You can get me on a Sunday afternoon for two double shots a damn Wolf of Reserve. <laughs> <laughs> now I know, man. <laughs> hey. I'm supposed to go outside and smoke me a good cigar, man. Yeah, man, light the fire pit, man. Make light my way to my, to my home. Hopefully my children are around. You know what I mean? Cause and we gonna go down in my area. You got to come through. You don't smoke, man. You know my kids. We. You know, I'm gonna let go, man. Let me smoke yeah, one. We with smoke. You. And come on through, man. And I got you <laughs> what know, a cap, but I got my. Cap, I got my. Man. You know I got my area. You know, you know what? It's like what I wanted when I was a kid. You know what I mean? Like. You know, well, uh, I tell you, two, two, I said grown men just buy <laughs> shit. They didn't want it when they you know were kids, saying, bro. Right. I got, I That's got all we do. Two DLHs on See? the back corner. <laughs> I got two bowls, three hundred ones up on the stands. I got a damn subwoofer, and I be bumping. And can't nobody tell you to cut nigga, your music. And off. can't nobody tell me to <laughs> cut it off or down. And I just in my in my my children come around. I got some comfortable chairs, and we carpet, and we sit on the floor, and we smoke. Bruh, but we reason. Mm. We talking about current events. We talking about history. We talking about antiquity. You know, we just kicking what it is that you taught my kids. Like the peace pipe. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And and we just, cause listen, sisters and brothers, cannabis is legal in Georgia. Come on. It's legal to own a gun in Georgia, concealed or not. Antiquity. It's the l- ancient past, especially the period <laughs> before the Middle Ages. <laughs> well, we Stop, had, man. We had an SAT words like, hey, boy, hey, when y'all listen to Slaughter Podcast, get your dictionary. Get your fucking hey, man, dictionary. That's what I do, man. Hey, brother, I love you for real, for real. I just want to say I appreciate I you for you, all man. you do. I love, I, you, I, think, I love your freeness. Um, you inspire a lot of people. But I can't be free unless you give me space to be free. All right. I'm so gonna, I thank I God for you. you. Yeah, I ain't gonna hold you. I thank I, God for you. Because you could have been, you know, Dr. Slaughter, I want you to come over and be on the pie class, but I want you to kind of keep it down. You know, uh, you know, I know your style, nah, but nah, nah. It, but you didn't come to me with that bullshit. Nah, nah, and if nah, you nah. had come to me with it, then I would have given you, you know, Professor Slaughter. Uh, but see, what people got to understand, and that's the reason I do like I do, that's the the reason I have presented myself to the world like I have, say, for the last 10 years. Because I need you to be safe. Mm. So I wear a hoodie. I ain't got my chain on today. You know, I usually wear my my my, my big gold chain and uh, my medallion and shit, mm. you know. And I wear that shit because I got a motherfucking PhD. Mm. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I dare a nigga or a cracker to try to treat me like I ain't shit. Now, if you can't treat me like I ain't shit, then they can't treat you in that way either. They can't treat my sons like that. I'm showing people that you can, it ain't make no difference what you wearing, mm. right? It's what you, it's, it's, it's what you think about yourself. Right. Right. And so what I have tried to do is intentionally, and I have intentionally cut off middle-class Negroes. I've intentionally embarrassed, upset, disrespected Negroes who think that they white. I intentionally do it. I do not do middle class ministry. I see about po people. Cause I'm po. Cause the last time I read the text, it said, blessed are the po. It don't say blessed are the middle class. Middle class niggas is black people's problem. Peace. <laughs> we gonna tell it like this, I man. Mean that. We love y'all. We need y'all. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in for another episode of the Just Elder Podcast. See y'all next week.
Everybody know about Atlanta, it's just a cool cheat. Everybody know about the scammers, about the trappers, and what we living now. It's just that lifestyle. Turn on my podcast, I'm trying to hit it real now. Hear perspective, we wanna keep it real now. Every day we on the grind. Sometimes it's hard to tune out the outside. Oh, Tune in on the podcast, yeah. Real things, you know we gon' last, yeah. Kick it back, kick it back, kick it back.